Welcome to another Dymo XTL 500 tutorial. Today we're going to look at breakers. Uh, on the home screen we've got two. We've got the vertical and the horizontal breaker. We're going to look at both of them today. There's really not much in them. Uh, we're all familiar with breakers on uh, switches, but a fuse boards. We've all got them. We've got them either under the stairs, in a cupboard, in a garage. And that's just our homes. Then you've got them in workplaces as well, in various places. Uh, you've got the vertical breaker, we'll go into these ones first. It's got the standard type things here. You've got your number of breakers and your breaker height. So you can say anything, any quantity you wanted. We'll say you've got four breakers, for example. Uh, I'm not familiar on standard size of breakers, but about an inch seems right, so we'll leave that there. Uh, and then you've got the number of poles. So say, for example, if uh, one of these ones down here is a two pole one, you can navigate down to the two, it's got the outline there, and tell it's a two pole, three pole, or even, uh, no, no, there's a four pole, so we can say two pole, that's sort of a standard, you can have your means on and off there. And again, with the graphic interface, we can really see absolutely everything. Uh, this type of thing you probably wouldn't have numbered, so you might have things such as uh, downstairs. That's your type of break you'd have there. Let's print that. As you can see, it's done everything correctly, so that would go on the vertical breaker board. That would go next to them like that. We have a look at the horizontal breaker. Same sort of thing, number of breakers, breaker width. Looking at that label, I guess an inch might have been a bit big. Uh, 17 sounds a bit more reasonable. Now you've got your breakers and multipliers, so again, we could say the last one at the end is a two pole. Um, let's recall all the data. override the text size, notice how everything changes. Unfortunately you can't do each one individually. Or at least not that I found. See that one's gone too big. It's best just to leave on auto fit. Very quickly zoom out there you can see the sample switches beneath. That looks a bit more like it. I have to do the breaker here, make everything all nice and tidy. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter. We've got a few more tutorials to come. Thanks very much for watching.